the preparation of potassium dihydrogen phosphate. Attention! Phosphoric acid and potassium hydroxide can cause severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. First, 43 grams of potassium hydroxide were added to a beaker and dissolved in 390 milliliters of distilled water. This gives a 10% solution of potassium hydroxide. It was then stirred until the hydroxide had dissolved. Then a thermometer was added to keep track of the temperature. Next, 86 grams of 85% phosphoric acid were added slowly while stirring. It wasn't clear how far the solution might heat up, which is why the acid was at first added with a pipette. The temperature didn't rise very much, so the acid was then added in larger portions. It should be kept below 90 degrees C to make sure the solution doesn't begin to boil. Nevertheless, it did only rise to 58 degrees, so the phosphoric acid could have been added slowly in one shot. Here a simple neutralization reaction takes place, where the phosphoric acid and the potassium hydroxide react to form potassium dihydrogen phosphate and water. In the end the beaker was covered and the solution was cooled down to 0 degrees C. No crystals had formed, which is why another 86 grams of phosphoric acid and 43 grams of potassium hydroxide were added while stirring vigorously. Out of curiosity, the hydroxide was added to the acidic solution this time, but it did only begin to boil locally when large amounts were added at once. Of course, the solution could have been boiled down or half of the amount of water could have been added at the beginning. At the end a clear solution was obtained again and it was cooled down to zero degrees again. Large and clear crystals did form because no impurities were present. Then the solution could be decanted off. Growing large crystals is easy so it is also used under the abbreviation of KDP. After drying it, 108.3 grams of potassium dihydrogen phosphate were obtained, which would correspond to a yield of 54%, but by boiling down the solution, the yield could also be quantitative. Nevertheless, I decided to use the solution for growing larger crystals. This was the preparation of potassium dihydrogen phosphate. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know more about growing crystals, you can watch my video about it here, or you can watch my latest video here.